Hey everyone, welcome! I promise you a video about how to adapt HyperOS for a global user, so let's get started. But before we jump into the settings, here are a few important things um, you should know up front. In this version, Chinese version of course, uh, eSIM doesn't work, Android Auto is missing, there is issues uh, with Wear OS watches, Google Maps timeline doesn't work, and there is no option to quick transfer files using quick share. And the voice wake up for Gemini is not available. If you buy the phone from Tradic Shenzhen or Wanda Mobile and don't ask for a factory sealed unit, which is an option at Wanda Mobile, and I don't think so in Tradic Shenzhen is this possibility, the phone usually arrives already prepared with Google services installed. However, if like me, you received a sealed unit, you will need to go through the entire setup process from the very beginning. I already done that, so I will walk you through everything step by step. When you turn on your phone, you have to set the system language to English. Then you have to go to the settings, then additional settings, then accounts and sense, and basic Google services. And you have to enable it. The next step is the downloading the Play Store from the Get App Store. By default, the phone starts with the Chinese keyboard, like this. If you don't have Google Play yet, installing another keyboard can be difficult, so you have two options. Either get too used to it for a short while, it's actually not that hard, you can see, like this. Uh, Okay, or you can switch to the keyboard layout by tapping that, this icon and use this, which gives you the standard characters. So now it's simpler to use this keyboard. Now you have to uh, find Play Store and of course install it. Once the Google Play is installed, I strongly recommend installing another keyboard right away, for example, Gboard. So, I have, of course, Gboard now. So, if I... So, now I have to... Turning off all of this. And Gboard now is installed. But important, even if you set Gboard, as a default keyboard, the Xiaomi keyboard will still appear when entering password. To prevent this, you will need to disable secure keyboard in the settings, like this. Okay, next thing, system and app language. Because in this version of the, of the phone, there is a not a lot of languages. You can see that they are only these languages. So if you want a language that isn't available in system settings, like for example Polish in my case, Edward is telling the set edit app. This allows you to change the language of applications from the Google Store and even parts of the system user interface, such as for example camera app. How to do that? We open set edit and grant the required permission in the app setting because without that um, changing the language uh, won't be possible. Then we have to find system locals, edit value and now we have to enter the language code. Codes for other languages um, are shown now on the screen. And then we have to restart the phone. Now, of course, uh, I want to show you uh, everything in English, so I don't want to change this now. The another thing, information panel app vote. When you swipe right on the home screen, an information panel 
sometimes with Chinese uh, content, Chinese character appears. If you want to disable it, you go to home screen and upvolt turning off. The next thing, search when swiping down. When you swipe down on the home screen, a search screen with Chinese characters appear, which can be annoying. So to change this, the same settings, and then swipe down on the home screen, not search, notification, shade and control center. And now you have the control center or notifications. The next thing, home screen search. There is also a separate um, option on the home screen, um, but this is not Google search like this. So you can see there is a lot of things uh, in uh, Chinese. So if you want to turn it off, you go to home screen and home screen search and you have to turn it off. Next thing, notifications. If you want notifications to arrive without delays, you will need to set everything individually for each app. The rule with the Chinese phones is always the same. Auto start, enable and no battery restrictions. So we go to settings, apps and we can take, for example, Telegram. So we can see auto start, then um, power, no restrictions and then permissions. You have to grant proper permissions to app. For example, Google Maps need location access. And you have to manually enable notifications for each app. And the one important thing, check each app's notification settings individually because some important options are often hidden and disabled by default. And now removing Chinese apps. A Chinese phones come with many pre-installed Chinese apps, which can be annoying. And Chinese apps can be safely removed uh, directly from the phone. But if you want to use ADB app control, remember to enable USB-C debugging in developer options. And note that this app is only for computer. Now I have the two wallets. One is a Google wallet and another one is a, the Chinese. So if you use this, you can simply uh, uninstall this app okay the another thing circle to search and gemini this isn't straightforward as you might expect on chinese phone circle to search is in chinese like this mm -hmm. and there is the build xiaomi assistant activated by long press the power button um, but for me, it's completely useless. Uh, so, of course, later I, I disable it um, in the settings. Instead, we can set up Gemini. Uh, voice activation won't work, but we can set Gemini to physical button. To get circuit to search in your language, you need MiCTS app, uh, but it's not available on Google Store. It must be downloaded from the external source. But uh, this app is one thing, uh, but I forgot to record when I recording this movie about uh, the another thing. Uh, because if you want to that this app works, you need to download earlier two apps. First, Google and then uh, Google Speech Recognition and Synthesis. And then, if you have these two apps, before you download MCTS, you need to go to Apps, Other Settings, Default Apps, and then Voice Assistant, it uh, have to be Google, and then Assist and Voice Input, Digital Assistant app, Google, and then Voice Input, um, Speech Recognition and Synthesis. 
you have to do this and then install this MCTS app. If you tap it, you have circuit to search. Uh, but of course, um, it's only the partial solution. The best option is to set it to a button. In my case, it's a map to a double press of the volume down button using the button mapper. This is this app. And when I double press, you can see I have my circuit to search uh, here. And important, after installing button mapper, you must grant all required permissions, otherwise circuit to search won't work properly. You can see my button mapper settings on the screen now. It took me some time to fine tune everything, so circuit to search works properly. And another thing is Gemini. To get Gemini working properly, you have to install three apps. The first, Gemini, then Google, and the another app, Google Speech Recognition and Synthesis. There is this app, Speech Recognition and Synthesis from Google. Then you have to grant all of them full permissions um, especially microphone access uh, for Google speech recognition like this without it features like for example voice dictation in Google Maps won't work then you have to go to of course settings apps and here three dots other settings default apps and we do exactly the same as with circuit to search in assistant voice input we need to set google as the digital assistant and google speech recognition in voice input voice wake up still doesn't work but using button mapper you can set gemini to a button for example a double press of volume up like in my case and then Google Pay. Google Pay works uh, properly, but there is one important thing to remember. Google Pay must be set as the default NFC app. Like this. Otherwise, payments won't go through. I learned this the hard way. Uh, Revolut also works without any issues. And the next thing is the call recording. In the Chinese version of the system, call recording works. To enable it, go to Phone app, Settings, and here you can see Call recording and configure it to your liking. And another thing is the Google Messages. Google Messages also work, but you need to set them as a default, uh, as a default app as you can see in my case. And then the another thing, checking whether a phone supports all bands in your country. I usually do this on Tradic Shenzhen because uh, most often I check the bands for Poland, but unfortunately Malta, where I live, isn't covered there. Recently, however, I discovered that Key Mobile I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, also has information for Malta, so if a country isn't listed on Tradic Shenzhen, it would be probably be there. So that should be all the settings uh, needed to make the phone work um, as close uh, to a global version as possible. Uh, yes, it takes some time to, to set special notifications, but once everything is set up, the phone works really well. Uh, I would even say that adapting HyperOS for global use feels easier than OriginOS or ColorOS, although there's obviously a personal preference. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing the channel and turning on the notification bell, so you won't miss the future videos. And now take care, and I will see you in the next videos. Bye.